uh, conducted by iris so uh, we basically have two boot camps one is a flutter boot camp and then the other one is ruby and rails boot camp and boot the main idea for boot camp is to make sure the juniors get started with development and uh, gets on a get a hands on training by the experts uh, by the expert seniors present over there and uh, we would try our best to get you started with the various technologies that we use at iris so i'll start with the flood uh, the ppt and uh, um, let's move on so let's before starting on with the bootcamp uh, let's talk about iris so iris is a team of you know motivated and impact driven students and we are working on building one of the st largest student led erp solutions in the country so as you can see uh, iris ha is a really integral integral part of our student life because it's makes our student life easier by making every process digitalized so iris has been in production from over 6 years it has over 20000 users and there are more than 30 college processes faculty processes that have been digitalized which makes the life of college students and faculties really easier because everything is at a touch of hand so in iris we have five teams uh, the first team being the web development team which uh, which manage the whole website and then we have the app team which manages the uh, iris application and then we have the product manage, manage, uh, management team which acts as a bridge between developers and also the faculty and it streamlines the whole process of development and then we have the systems team uh, and as iris is a production level software and is used by many people we need a really good infrastructure infrastructure to back back it up so we have the systems in that handles the infrastructure and then we have iris labs team which you know experiments with newer ideas uh, that will try uh, that would help to solve real life problems present in our college so that's about iris and in this session we have the leads of iris uh, i would like to introduce uh, shushan uh, who is the tech lead uh, for this year uh, and guhan who is the admin lead for this year and rashmit who is the app lead for this year and uh, i'll move on uh, let's talk about the app team so uh, we will be conducting the flutter boot camp and who are we we are the team that builds the iris app so that users can you know get the best experience and uh, the ease of accessibility is increased and uh, why app because app is uh, one of the easy ways to access uh, uh, everything that is present in our college let it be grades or your courses or attendance everything we want to ensure that students are able to easily access it hence we try to write proper code and keep on developing modules to make the life of students easier what tech stack do we use we use flutter uh, we use flutter and we use gitlab for version control system and collaboration we use postman for api testing so i'll talk about flutter in the later slides so what's flutter so flutter is an open source framework uh, which was developed by which is developed by google and it's the main uh, distinguishing factor about flutter is that it's a cross it's a cross platform it is used to develop cross platform applications so what does that mean it means with a single code base you can develop you can develop the same app for multiple platforms let it be ios let it be android desktop i do not have to write separate codes for all this platform i just have to write one code and this code would work in all the platform that that's what makes flutter uh, really uh, beneficial and also it is an open source framework that is gaining a lot of uh, popularity and it's being maintained and this helps the increasing the performance of flutter uh, day by day it is also really extremely popular and with its popularity skyrocketing every year every startup nowadays is using flutter because with flutter you can build applications really fast compared to native development and the the availability of rich libraries also uh, makes it case and like there are many big companies that have used flutter uh, uh, some of them are cred uh, alibaba and uh, most of the startup that i know have now started migrating towards flutter so that's all about flutter so why flutter as i said earlier it's cross flat cross platform so it saves a lot of time you just have to write one code and you can use that code for every platform and it's also really beginner friendly uh, beginner friendly 
it has a support of rich, rich libraries it's open source and one more thing that i like about flutter is it's really intuitive so once you just see the code uh, even a beginner person who's starting to code he can understand the code because it's written in such a way that it makes coding easier and also understanding you easier then the, another thing is flutter nowadays is being used really, uh, widely it was started this project was started it was released in may of 2017 but now it's gaining a lot of traction and like there are many developers who are actively con making projects in uh, flutter and also contributing to flutter to make it uh, the make it the best and increase its performance so that is all about flutter so talking about the bootcamp so as you know we would we will try to make you teach flutter and make sure that in the end you are able to develop a whole flutter application on your own so to to uh, fulfill that we'll be taking on some topics we'll be teaching you some topics uh, regarding flutter so what are what all are they the first topic would be what is flutter and that that is the basic things and the second topic would be widgets in a flutter app so basically there's a common saying that uh, everything in flutter is a widget so if you understand widget then you'll understand how the how a flutter app works and how to build one so we'll cover try to cover widgets in flutter app and then we'll uh, the third topic that we are going to cover would be local storage so as you know that you uh, you, you you can build an app but a storing data is really important because uh, nowadays data everything revolves around data so you need some place to store the data right so there's a package called hive which we can use hive is a database a key key value pair database which we can use to store uh, data and we'll be teaching you how to use that in flutter the next topic would be handling rest api so basically as you know uh, our app connects us with everyone right but uh, we also need to know how to handle in uh, rest api because that would help us to increase the features in an app to on a whole lot uh, uh, on a, another level so handling apis and i guess if you do not know about apis we'll be also covering that and and uh, learning about api and connecting with it it would really help you take the app to an another level then we go to state management in flutter so what that does is so basically state management is a concept that we'll get back to you late uh, we'll talk about later but it basically helps you to improve the performance of the app and write proper code so that is also a really important uh, aspect of app development because that is required in real life software development and all the companies want you to write code using proper state management tools so that is one more thing that we will be covering and then the another thing is firebase auth and firebase cloud storage which is an optional session based on the demand so as you know authentication is really necessary nowadays and also cloud storage is a uh, uh, is a really big part of every software project nowadays so we will be covering that also uh, nice. in the last session if uh, we have time and if there's a uh demand for that so coming about the timeline so we'll be taking session every sunday uh, so all the sessions would be a week apart so for the first session starting on 18 december and it will cover the flutter and dart fundamentals so as you can see these are all the uh, topics that we'll be covering uh, and then we have uh, a mid sem break after 25 december so for the uh, first year and then we'll again start our session from um, 8 january uh, going on to 5th february so we'll we, as i said all the topics that i mentioned in the past we'll be covering those topics in every session and then in in the last uh, session that is on 5th february we'll having we'll have a doubt solving session which will cover like the doubts from like the whole every topic but also another uh, thing that i want to point out that, uh, is that we can have extra doubt solving sessions if requested so for sessions like uh, after like uh, after the third session we have uh, the sessions of 15 january and 22nd january and 29 january we can have an extra doubt solving session particularly for that session so let's assume we have a session on hive on 15 january we can have another session on 19 january just for doubts regarding hive and it's based on the uh, students response if the student want uh, more students want uh, doubts uh, live doubt solving sessions then we can have it for these sessions and we can have it under that week uh, probably on thursday so that's all about the timeline and uh, we'll 
also uh, talking about the assignment format so it's not just um, uh, just teaching because what i feel is what everyone uh, what uh, people at iris feel is you can't learn anything till you have actually implemented it so we'll have assignment so the talking about the assignment format for the first two sessions you'll be given an mcq quiz uh, to understand your knowledge to understand the grasp how much you were able to grasp the session but then from afterwards what we are uh, planning is to have a uh, you will be asked to implement an app and after every session you will have to implement the fee, uh, implement what was thought in that particular session so as in session 4 if you are thought local storage you will have to implement that particular concept in your app and you can be creative with that you can implement water and you can make any app so it's not a, a restriction you can go creative with it you can do anything so the only requirement is whatever we was uh, was thought in that session you will have to implement it somehow in that so it will be a continuous assignment not separate assignments as such and in the end if you do it properly you will have a whole app to yourself and it's basically a project a big project that you have made over these few weeks and uh, the assignments would be verified every um, week uh, after like every week and uh, we hope that you are like very really sincere with that because this would play really important role in your learning and also understanding so that's all about the assignment format and uh, let's I, i was talking about learning flutter and etc but what are the benefits so yeah you, the the thing is you'll get exposure to real world software development uh, because flutter is being used widely and you know how basically uh, now till now you used to you used to use apps right you used to use iris but now you can understand like what's happening behind and all because you it's yourself are developing an app and yeah with the help of flutter you can develop apps for both android and ios and the what's the be- biggest advantage of that now because you can solve real life problems you, you 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 think you have figured out a problem you can use your knowledge development knowledge to try to make something for that and try to solve that problem that's one of the biggest benefits of this uh boot camp so talking about the communication channels how would you communicate with us and how would we communicate with you so basically there are two main channels over here we have the microsoft teams and Um, Shashank, we are unable to hear you. And we also yeah. have a resources channel where uh, you can. We will be putting out resources for that particular week, so that even if you get stuck in the future, you can just refer to that and uh, you know uh, clear your doubts and everything. And those are the two main communication channels over here. And moving on, yeah, get a chance to join us. So this is one of the uh, really big advantages of uh, boot camp. that is at the end of boot camp you have a chance to join uh, iris team officially as a developer so like the the requirement the basically what would happen is we would evaluate you uh, on your assignments and uh, we will also take an interview at the end and if we find you to be a really promising candidate we may hire you as a, we may not hire sorry we may uh, you may be able to join iris as a software developer and work on the real life code base of iris and what are the uh, what is the advantage of it yeah you get to work on production level projects you will have a great mentorship from all the uh, expert seniors who have experience working in many domains of technologies you will have a really strong network and you will be doing some in- impactful work by solving real life problems faced by the students so your work wouldn't go on waste so i would again request you to be sincere with the boot camp uh, which yeah. boot camp you join and uh, do your assignments quickly and uh, the most important thing of all uh, learn continuously so that was all about the uh, flutter boot camp so if you guys have any questions you can ask any questions right on it's not a problem 
Shashank, uh, could you uh, repeat the communication channels part? It yeah, also sure. was breaking at that time. That's why. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. Am I audible now? Yes. Uh, so in communication channels, we have two uh, main channels. We have the Microsoft Teams and we have Discord. In Microsoft Teams, we'll be uh, taking the live interactions, uh, interactive sessions where we'll be teaching you about uh, Flutter and all the uh, related concepts. And we have the Discord and channel for communication over text. So. Uh, in Discord, we have created two. Uh, in the Discord server, we have created two subcategories called one is called doubts and the resources. In the doubts channel, uh, you can ask all your doubts. Okay, so it may happen that uh, after the session, you are uh, just trying to work it out and then you get a doubt. So you can just text us there uh, in the Discord doubts channel and we'll be clearing your doubts there and then itself. And then we have the resources channel. So in this channel, we'll be sending the resources uh, for that particular week. So we may send you a YouTube video or an article, medium article or anything which may help you to you know learn more about that topic or get a better and clear understanding of that topic. So these are the way you can communicate with us. Uh, other than that, yeah, I have my email ID at the end. So you can communicate me over email also for any any doubts, uh, personal doubts if you have which you don't want to ask in the groups. So uh, that was all about the communication channel. Yeah, uh, was it clear now? Agwan, was the this clear? Uh, yeah, yes. it was clear. clear. Now I think students can ask questions if any. Hey guys, I'm uh, Rashmi. Okay, happy to meet him. I don't introduce. Uh, I just want to pitch in and say usually we'll. During initial stages, we'll have so much participation and towards the end, people start uh, dropping out. And uh, I, I just want you to uh, understand that we are all here to help. There is no doubt that's so silly or there is no doubt that we'll feel this guy is troubling us too much. We are not those people who will be irritated easily. So don't, be, don't drop out of the session just because you can't get your doubt cleared or you're stuck somewhere. Whatever the matter is, we are open to have live sessions also. Uh, so yeah, I just don't want to see the participation falling towards the end. And we have the, the timeline what Shashank showed is so much flexible also. Mm, so yeah, whatever problem you have, we can reschedule the sessions based on your request. So any more questions of what Flutter is and why you need to learn anything will be entertained. And constant communication is important. And yeah. Building a network is more important than learning technologies. I would say my personal opinion. If you Bro, ask how much time? Sorry? How much time the classes will be for week? Who is this? Uh, Rupesh. Okay. I'm uh, Rupesh. Uh, ha, Rupesh. Rupesh. Hi, Rupesh. Yeah. Ah, so saying it's like one hour, right? One to one and a half max. Oh yeah, it's one to one and a half hour. And uh, and it's not just strict one to one and a half hour. Yeah, that would be our teaching session. And but then you, if you still have doubts, the mentors, the like the uh, the speakers would be more than happy to stay on the call to solve your doubts. Like so, if you speak in practical, it's not. Uh, it's like for teaching will be like for one hour, one to one and a half hour. But then for doubt solving, it would uh, you would be happy to stay how much uh, long till the doubts are cleared. So did that clear uh, your doubt to Pesh? Yeah, yeah, bro. Thank you. Yeah, myself, uh, Ashit. And I'm having a uh, doubt that uh, is it, uh, is it useful for the civil engineering, sir? OK, first of all, none of us are sirs. And uh, like if it was not useful, we wouldn't have opened for all branches, no? So. I mean, if you ask whether it will help your academic performance, no, definitely not. Flutter is not part of any course structure. Uh, but like, 
uh, your technical skills definitely it will help you can go on to learn any other technologies it's any other application development technologies or any other fl front end technologies flutter will definitely come into help or if you want to stick to academics no this will not come in into play in any of your academic subjects uh, like it's uh, useful for uh, computer science having gaining the knowledge about computer like computer knowledge yes sir uh okay you can definitely gain knowledge about computer science and this is not something that's uh, only for computer science engineering students it's open for all anybody can learn and if you can look at i don't want to comment officially but most of the time civil engineer people will uh, will end up with it job sometimes i'm saying i'm not commenting officially anything uh at that time definitely this will help and uh, it's up to your interest if you are interested in mobile app development your brand shouldn't be a problem you should definitely take this up if you are not then no i i your question is not so clear to me i think i answered it well yeah definitely definitely yes. and i'm getting one of us are sirs and we don't like to be called sir yeah yeah okay 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 nano none of you asked this question i'll just clear it then we'll hand over to web team the uh, the, um, the thing is uh, the sessions will be from the basic given that you have knowledge from uh, some knowledge about uh, objective oriented programming and we'll try it even even without that also you can probably have a first uh, separate live interaction session the group of people who are not having any knowledge about objective but anyway it, it shouldn't be a problem if you if you did not have any experience with the oops also the sessions will start from very basic and then move on from there and for people who are already having experience with uh, flutter i it's i would say if you think like the first session i would ask everybody to join and look at what the context of the session for like first 10 to 15 minutes and then if you think it's uh, you are strong with this session because you are already experienced then i would say uh yeah drop of you can of course drop of that session and watch the recording and do the assignment uh but just don't feel that all those sessions are going to be at this uh, rate only like sessions are going to slowly uh, we are going to uh, tune up, tune up the session and it's going to get more interesting and you will definitely build an application at the end of every if not every at least few of the session like from second session onwards i think we'll be building application real world application yeah it's going to be interesting see you soon there yes if there if there are none i think prashant Yeah, I think uh, uh, Anirudh will be taking over with the Ruby on Rails bootcamp. I'll stop sharing screen. Um, other students, if you have any further questions related to Flutter or bootcamp, you can uh, message Rashmit or Shashank, and you can get it clarified through them. Uh, through message them through Teams itself. to uh, conclude guys yeah i do join in uh, i can definitely ensure that it will be a really fun session and you'll be re re really learning a lot of things and uh, you wouldn't feel bored at any time so we have some really great speakers and mentors over here and uh, after you learn flutter you will be able like you'll be really good after the boot camp if you attend all the sessions you'll be really good to go and uh, like you know de start developing your own applications so that's all about uh, that's all from my side uh, so i'll hand over the uh, i'll hand over the meeting to anirudh uh, okay um i hope i am audible yeah anirudh you are audible all uh, right i'll also just share my screen so um okay Uh, is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. Um. So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I am Anirudh, and uh, I am a member of the uh, web team at Iris. 
and so i'll briefly be giving you an introduction about the ruby on rails boot camp like what you can expect uh, in this boot camp i'll be talking about the timeline of it and like what sort of um, what sort of uh, stuff you will be like uh, covering through throughout the entire boot camp so uh, similar to the way that the app team is having a boot camp on flutter the web team is going to be ha having a boot camp on the technology that it uses which is ruby on rails uh, so before uh, we go ahead i would like to just like give a quick brief introduction about the web team so uh, we are a group of people who create and maintain the core web app here at iris so uh, basically all the other services so for example the app team itself they use various apis that the web team creates and provides exposes it to them and so the core application that actually uh, we is like known as iris by most of the students is actually built by the web team itself and our job mainly includes like working with various stakeholders so that could be different student bodies like the student council mess council etc uh, and working with the administration uh, to come up with some sort of solutions uh, so that uh, th these modules are helpful and useful for all of the people who are going to be using them and uh, while we try to create the best experiences for all our users we also uh, make sure that our code is uh, very uh, compliant to the proper standards and that we write high quality code so that it is maintainable uh, in the future and when new developers come and work on our code base they can get right into the uh, coding aspect and not have to sit and understand what is happening uh, within our code base so as these quick stats uh, display we have we are on production for uh, around 6 years now we have more than 20000 users we have 38 million hits and we have more than 30 processes within our college that has been digitized um so to talk about the boot camp itself so the boot camp is an eight week boot camp so it will uh, introduce you to the world of world, uh, to the world of web development by by ruby on rails so uh, why ruby on rails is because this is the stack that we here at iris use and uh, the entire team is pr uh, pretty proficient in this stack and so we would like to introduce all of you uh, students to this particular uh, framework as well um so one question that might be coming to your mind is why ruby on rails so in the current uh, technical landscape we have about hundreds and thousands of frameworks so why particularly use ruby on rails so uh, i have mentioned four uh, very brief points here although there are like a lot of more advantages but these are the top uh, like the biggest four advantages that we have one is that it it is extremely powerful and scalable so ruby on rails is an extremely uh, powerful piece of software and it is used by some of the biggest companies in the world and so you can create even small apps from this and these apps can whenever required they can scale extremely well to uh, as your user base increases and you can create even very simple apps and you can also make very powerful apps from them the second point is that uh, the ruby on rails project has great documentation and a great community so this is important for any sort of software de developer the documentation is extremely important that is probably the first place where you will go when you run into any uh, any problem where you have any doubts the first place we usually check is the documentation and if we are unable to find any answer in the documentation we usually go to the community which means uh, stack overflow questions or um, uh, any other forums that are available for ruby on rails so both of so the ruby on rails project is also highly documented it is very well and very simply written so that everyone can understand and the community is also very vibrant and active so that you will probably get an answer to nearly any sort of question that you have the third important point about ruby on rails is that it follows a dogma called convention over configuration so um Ruby on Rails is a framework that follows a particular uh, mindset. It uh, defines the way that a few. Uh, it tells you how a few things should be defined so that the app works. So because of this, you can very quickly start uh, getting to your point of like actually writing the app instead of like thinking of what should I name files, what should I name different functions, what should I be like, uh, what should this be, what, where should this be, and all that. so you do not have to configure anything ruby on rails already provides you a convention to do this and if you follow it you will be uh, able to create your app in very fast and very uh, eff efficiently and uh, like i mentioned before this ruby on rails is used by some of the biggest companies in the world like github and shopify so um, if you do not know github is basically the uh, open source repository uh, website where uh, pretty much every open source repository is available on github nowadays it is a huge company and it is supported by an rr backend 
uh, Shopify again is a very huge uh, e-commerce based website, which again uh, uses ROR and also high is highly active in the community, the ROR community itself. So these are the kind of like companies and kind of people who work at these companies who are actually also using the same technology stack. So um, what can you expect from this particular bootcamp? So we will be giving you instruction guides to familiarize you with uh, initially the, uh, the framework of the modern web design. So that is how the modern internet works, how the modern web works, how uh, basic web design, uh, uh, how, how basic web design technologies and terminologies are so that you can get an understanding of what is happening a bit in the background. This, this information is extremely important for any good web developer so that you can make very good applications uh, for your own projects. We'll also be having guided sessions to introduce you to the basics and build your foundation in Ruby on Rails. Along with guided sessions, you will also have live doubt clearing sessions so that any doubts that you might face while going through the bootcamp or while going through maybe many uh, other external resources, if you come through any doubt, then we here will be able to help you out, uh, help you out on in uh, in this live session. And after all this, you will also be given assignment so that you can properly understand like what all you've learned over the past few weeks and what all where all you're lacking and what and what you can focus on so that you can become a better Ruby on Rails developer. Um, so uh, similar to the way that Shashank men mentioned, we will also be following a similar sort of communication channel. So the sessions will be conducted on MS Teams and all recordings and lectures will be provided to you for the future reference. So even in case you are not available for any live, uh, live uh, session on MS Teams because of some sort of timing clash, you do not have to worry. We will be providing you the recording so that you can catch up for it and you can complete the assignments properly. Um, mentors are available on Discord for all sorts of doubt clearing that you will require. So you can directly ping us on the web uh, on the web bootcamp related channels as to uh, uh, saying that you have a particular doubt and one of one of the mentors will help you out. Alongside this, there will also be weekly doubt clearing sessions where we will be available for uh, to clear any of your doubts. Uh, all the assignments that will be uh, curated by us will be uh, submitted on GitHub. And so you will have to complete the assignment. You'll have to make a PR to a particular repository, which will be informed to you in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, all the assignments will be focusing on different topics. And so there will be different structures to these assignments. All details regarding that will be provided to you during that particular week. Um, when you submit your code on GitHub and create a PR, uh, any sort of comments on that code, on any, uh, on any sort of code practice or any mistake error that you might have will be uh, submitted on the PR itself so that you can also get familiar with the way that GitHub is supposed to be used. Um, so at the end of this, what can you, th what are the outcomes that you will get? So the first one is uh, a very good knowledge in development. So you will learn the basics of how to use GitHub and Git and how to code in a very collaborative environment, which you will probably require in nearly any sort of software field that you might work in the future. Um, you will also get a lot of knowledge into different web technologies. So you will learn about the important aspects of the internet, how uh, different sort of uh, parts of the internet work and how these moving parts fit together. And alongside that, you'll also learn the languages of the internet, which is HTML and CSS. And uh, alongside these, you will also learn Ruby on Rails in detail. So you will learn Ruby on Rails and you'll also learn Bootstrap, which is a front-end framework that you can use to create your uh, web apps in record time. You'll be able to create your full front end, uh, if a full stack, uh, an, uh, a full stack application, uh, very efficiently and very quickly, so that you can go from an idea stage to a prototype stage to an actual implementation stage very, uh, very fast. Um, so, if we talk about the entire timeline, so as I mentioned, it is around an eight week, uh, 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 an eight week bootcamp. So, in the first week, we'll be covering a few fundamentals. Uh, that will include uh, the basic web terminology. We'll uh, do. We'll cover a bit of HTML, CSS, and Git as well. So we'll basically prepare you for all the other weeks that are to come ahead. Week two, we will be learning Ruby. So Ruby on Rails is a framework that is made on the Ruby uh, programming language. So we will be uh, uh, we will be walking you through the Ruby language itself. We'll also uh, ins give you instructions and help you out with installing Ruby and Ruby on Rails on your particular system. Um, in the previous years, we have had a lot of issues during this particular week. So this year, what we are trying to do is we will also give you support for some 
cloud environment so that even if your computer does not support these particular programming languages or framework as of now you can immediately start coding and you can immediately catch up with what we are doing by using a code environment like github code spaces so further details for that will be given to you during the week 2 instructions uh, in week 3 we will actually get uh, get started with using ruby on rails and we learn one of the most important co uh, important components of that which is models so uh, the entire week will be focused on on an introduction to uh, what ruby on rails is and and the different principles that guide it and we will also introduce what is models uh, week 4 will be focused on controllers routing and authentication so once you are finished with an introduction and you have developed your first basic models you will now teach your app how to interact with the internet how to process any sort of interaction and how to make sure that the person who is interacting with your particular app is actually supposed to be the one who is doing it so you will learn how to authenticate users you learn how to um, map different routes to various parts of, of logic in your app in week 5 you will finally learn about views and you learn about bootstrap so you will finally be able to display content to a particular user in any way that you want you can pop you will learn how to populate different pages with different sort of dynamic data so that every person can get a different view and you will learn how to uh, make this entire process uh, look very beautiful using a very popular front end framework called bootstrap week 6 will dive into a bit more complex ruby on rails where you will learn about associations and validations so most of the data in today's world is not stand alone there are some sort of relations between all sorts of data and you will learn how you can uh, display that uh, how you can denote such associations in your uh, ruby code itself in your rails code so that it works more uh, it works towards the way that you wanted to along with that as your data becomes more complex as your application becomes more complex you will need to learn how to secure your data so that nothing goes wrong with it you'll be learning this using validations and in the last week in week 7 you will learn something called ajax so ajax is used to make a uh, ajax is used to make any sort of request to the server without actually doing a page reload which makes your website very uh, very responsive and it hugely improves the user experience of your website using this small trick and uh, this uh, adding ajax to your website uh, can uh, can improve like the usability of your website by a huge margin so that uh, that is what is going to be covered in the last week and um, as i've mentioned we will have we will be having weekly uh, live meets on wednesdays for any sort of uh, doubt clearing uh, doubt clearing sessions as well um so if you guys have any questions then you are free to ask them right now hello uh yeah Uh, what are the different teams in the iris means web team product team so by learning which which uh, ruby on rails we can get into this team is there any specific course for that uh, right so ruby on rails uh, is primarily used by the web team so by uh, doing the boot camp you will have a chance to learn how, how the web team works alongside that at the end of the boot camp you will also be offered an opportunity to actually uh, to apply for the web team and we will be uh, we will be considering you for recruiting into the uh, web team based on your performance in the boot camp also this is only available for nitk students because iris is an entity that works only within nitk uh, so this is um, this is something that only nitk students can avail hello i am nikhil here yeah uh, so i wanted to know that uh, why are we not using uh, node js or react js and why we are using ruby on rails like react js and uh, node js are popular and wide framework these days so why are we not using them uh right so um why we are not using any sort of no like node js or like uh, react 
or any sort of JavaScript based framework is that yes, as you mentioned, it is highly popular uh, in today's world. Uh, like most of the fr- uh, most of the frameworks nowadays are there is like a, a huge focus on um, uh, on any sort of like JavaScript based framework. However, we have uh, when Iris was uh, started, we started using Ruby on Rails because at that time we felt that it was the perfect choice. Until now, we do not we have not had any complaints with the framework. Whatever our requirements were, we have the uh, the Ruby on Rails team has always provided that and more. So we have not had any reason to actually migrate our code base from uh, uh, from the current Ruby uh, code base to a new, uh, to any sort of newer framework, including a JavaScript framework. Alongside that, since I mean uh, the way that I mentioned, so Iris has been in production for around six years. So we have a few modules which have been running since the beginning or since the inception of Iris itself. So migrating such uh, uh, like migrating such modules which are so big, so important uh, or to a brand new framework and a brand new language does pose a, a, a huge task. So for now, we are we do not we are not thinking we do not have any plans of migrating to any other sort of framework because frankly we do not have any necessity to uh, migrate. I hope that answers your question. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you don't have to like as Rashmit mentioned, you don't have to call me or like anyone in the Iris team, sir. We are like students, just like you, sir. So, what is uh, Ruby on Rail? Uh, what is that? Okay, so um, the way that there is Python and C plus plus, so these are programming languages. Similar to that, there is a programming language called Ruby. So, um, in the Ruby language, there is this package or there is this framework called Ruby on Rails. So, what this uh, framework does is basically it gives you, it simplifies the task of creating web applications for you. So you can create web applications using pure Ruby code, but it will be extremely difficult. So what uh, what the creators at Ruby on Rails have done is that they have created a package for us where uh, all the important code and all the code that we do not need to know uh, how it works. It has been packaged to us and given to us so that we can focus more on actually building our application rather than focusing on how to make our application run. So Ruby on Rails is one of the many frameworks that exist, and uh, it is a framework that we are using here at Iris. Uh, so I hope that answers your question. And also, like it is a uh, Ruby on Rails is like a Python and a C plus plus program. Are you saying like that? So uh, Python and C plus plus are like uh, programming languages, right? So let's say you have Python. So within Python, you have various uh, modules. So let's say you have the TensorFlow module. So what the module does is basically it gives you an easier way to do a particular task rather than have to, having to write everything from the scratch itself. So this is similar to what Django, uh, what Ruby on Rails also does in Ruby. So uh, we write code in the Ruby language, but Ruby on Rails gives us a, a level of abstraction and a level of ease of comfort to actually make our web applications. We do not have to write everything from scratch. We can assume that some things will work and based on that, we can start our own development. Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, one of you have asked uh, whether you'll be getting a certificate at the end of the bootcamp. Uh, we don't guarantee you a certificate. Uh, uh, so based on the nature of participation and involvement, we can uh, l- look into that uh, later. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. And then yeah, Anirudh, you can take the other question. Uh, yeah, sorry, could you just read the question out? Uh, which version of Ruby on Rails is in use? Okay, um, so at Iris, we use uh, Rails 6, but during the bootcamp, we'll be covering the latest version of Rails, which is Rails 7. Um, so Hello. If there, yeah. Uh, can we get that uh, PDF of the slides that you tell that you show them? Uh, yeah. The I go on the the like the slides will be shared on Teams or on Discord. Um. Yeah. We we, we, we just share it on Discord. Yeah. We we'll share it. Yeah. 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 We will we will share it on one of the uh, communication channels. So the slides and the recording of this intro introductory session, everything will be there shared with you.
थैंक यू um if there are no more questions then i would like to reiterate that the boot camp does for natk students especially for natk students only the boot camp does lead to a possibility to actually join the iris team for the app boot camp you get a chance to join the app team and for the web boot camp at the end of it you do get a, a chance of joining the web team at iris so uh, you can keep this in mind while you are going through the entirety of the boot camp and while you're making assignments since you will be just based on, based on that um after this particular session uh, your next step should ideally be to join the discord server so a link is provided here on the slides as well as it is it has been highly publicized so you can go go to any uh, one of our spam uh, spam messages or you can go to our instagram page or linkedin you can go there and you can find uh, the link to the discord server once you join please make sure that you get your proper role uh, from the uh, from the hashtag roles channel so the web learner role is for participants who want to take part in the ror boot camp and the app learner role is for a participant who wants to take part in the flutter boot camp um and uh, yeah after that all updates will be provided to you uh, on the on the communication channels that have been mentioned by both teams So what is difference between MS Team and uh, Discord? Like, uh, how is that? Which we have to use uh, for regular our uh, sessions. Uh, sorry, I I didn't understand your question. Could you just repeat it once? Yeah, yeah. This one is uh, we are in a uh, MS Team, uh, like, but uh, you had mentioned that uh, Discord is uh, another app. So what we have to use, uh, like, for the for further sessions. Uh, right so any sort of live sessions will happen on ms team since uh, it is quite convenient to have like a proper meet and to rec uh, the recording facilities available on ms teams so any sort of live sessions will happen here if you have any sort of doubts for the mentors or like any sort of reviews that you want on your code then discord would be the place to put that up so that uh, discord has a much uh, more friendlier uh, real time chat interface as compared to microsoft teams so it will be much easier for all of us to address your questions and to address your doubts uh, as soon as we can on that platform itself so uh, does does that make sense yeah and also what about uh, github all uh, right so um i think soon we will also be publishing uh, we will be sending you the link and we will be publishing a video on the introduction to git so github is basically uh, a website where all so like it is a website where uh, basically all repositories so repositories are folders with codes in it so different code uh, is uploaded so we uh, like uh, in the boot camp our any sort of assignment code that we have we will upload it to github and from there you you can download that code you can make changes and you can submit your own code as well there so the prerequisite for that is basically just to have a github account if you do not have one you can create uh, create one it will take you less than a minute and after that uh, we do have a session on git and github for uh, all of you who are unaware of the platform if you go through that session you will understand completely as to like what you uh, what you are supposed to do in that yes thank you uh yeah hello so uh yeah please uh um can we join in both the camps or it has to be either of the one uh yes you can join both of the boot camps uh do we do we have any restriction against that i i do not believe we have uh, guhan can you confirm us? no yeah uh, there is no restriction uh, in that regard uh, so uh, by chance even uh, in that uh, form which we had circulated earlier if you had filled only one of ruby on rails or uh, flutter you can still join uh, uh, like both the boot camps and follow all the sessions for uh, in both the tracks just make sure that you follow all the um, uh, updates uh, in the discord uh, channel as well as the microsoft teams uh, gr group uh, uh, regularly regarding both the boot camps and attend the sessions regularly you can attend both okay thank you okay yeah okay, so, there's um, a question what's the difference yeah. in like front end back end someone asked the question okay. 
Okay, so um, the difference between front end and back end. So any sort of web application that you will be seeing on the uh, on the internet basically will comprise of two parts: the front end and the back end. So uh, as a gross simplification, what you can consider as a front end is basically your client side. So what you are viewing on your device. So it could be a laptop, it could be a phone, it could be an app, uh, it could be on your uh, smart TV, on your tablet. Uh, whatever you are using to actually view the content of that particular website, you can consider it as front end. So uh, all the styling of the web page, all the data that has to be displayed onto that particular web page, any sort of interactions, animations, uh, when you resize what should happen, all of that is covered by, by the front end side. The back end side is primarily, uh, so if you can, uh, under the same simplification, the back end would basically be the server side. So anything that happens on the server, which is probably any sort of processing that you want to do to your data, storing the actual data in a database, all of that is handled on the back end. So that is the uh, distinction between the front end and the back end. Of course, I have there are there is like quite an amount of simplification in this, but that is uh, the uh, that is quite uh, the big difference between the two. So uh, Ruby on Rails is it can be like used for only backend uh, development, but we will be teaching you about full stack development. So full stack development means. Uh, um, developing both the back end of the of your project as well as the front end, so uh, you will be able to create an entire app with uh, at the end of this uh, bootcamp. Uh, hey guys, uh, are there any prerequisites uh, to be uh, known about this? Uh, so there are no as such as such there are no prerequisites all the information that you will be uh, will be needing will be provided to you either during like uh, one of the uh, guided sessions or uh, any or some articles that you might have to uh, uh, refer to will be pro links to those will be provided to you so if you go through the content that is provided through the bootcamp that will be sufficient to uh, complete the entirety of this you do not need to have any sort of prerequisite Although having some familiarity with any sort of a programming language beforehand is definitely helpful and will definitely help you uh, as you go ahead in the bootcamp. Uh, but yeah, as I, uh, I'll reiterate, you do not need to have any prerequisite. We will be providing you enough resources through the uh, entirety of the bootcamp. Are there any other questions? Um, sir, is there any WhatsApp group that uh, for communication persons or only a Discord channel is there? Um, only, only Discord channel will be provided. Uh, like all communication and updates will happen only on the uh, Discord channel. There is no separate WhatsApp uh, group or link that you you have to join. Hello, am I audible? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So, where should you guys be contacted for any doubts uh, after the session starts or before? Like after? Not right now. I mean, after this. Uh, yeah. So, uh, on the Discord server, all mentors will be pretty active there. So, if you have any sort of doubts, you can put it up there on the uh, on the doubts channel, and uh, one of the mentors will look into that and give you a response as soon as they can. All right. Thanks. Um, are there any more questions?
OK, so uh, I guess if there are no more questions, I guess uh, we can wind up the session quickly. So if you have any uh, further questions regarding the bootcamp, you can either uh, message Anirudh or uh, Rishikesh uh, who, uh, for the web team for the uh, Ruby on Rails track and uh, Rashmit and Shashank for the uh, Flutter track. Uh, yeah, um, one last thing to mention. So the video on the introduction of Git and GitHub will be going live on our uh, on our YouTube channel at 8.15. So you can start off immediately. You can watch that video and you can start off immediately with the bootcamp. Yeah, uh, thank you. And yeah, please do make sure that you join the Discord server and get your proper rules. The link to the Discord server is uh, present in the uh, chat as well. Yeah, fine. I guess we can wind up. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thanks for attending. Thank you.